What is going on guys? Uh, I'm gonna take you through my typical Sunday workout. Um, on Sundays I do upper body power. So if you guys are curious, I'm actually doing uh, Lane Norton's fat program right now. Um, I was adding my own like assistance exercises, uh, but I kind of went back to um, what he recommends. So you'll see some variations, like for example, uh, on this day he does pendley rows. Um, I like to do deadlifts on this. I do not do deadlifts on my leg days because that taxes me. So here's 405 for one and two. Um, I have a, I was getting 405 for like four, three, and five, three, four, and five. Um, but today, um, I could only get it for sets of two. So I did a few, I didn't record them all, but, um, yeah, I just screwed my back up deadlifting like an idiot one day and then. A lot, of, a lot of shit happened in between time. Got sick. Tore some calluses open. Fun stuff. So last week, um, I could, I was doing 365 um, for like three sets of four or something like that. And that felt heavy as shit. Um, so I was actually surprised I was able to even move 405 today. Um, so here's another attempt. And, uh, let's see. It really felt like I was rounding my back when I was doing these deadlifts. I was uh, asking uh, some friends around me, and they said I wasn't. Uh, I still don't like where my back is. I might need to put my butt down more. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. There's one. Two. weight starts moving as you see those plates um, they're not round so anytime you land on them they could you know as they move around they land in different positions so it's really frustrating especially when you're trying to get in a groove um, so that one I tried to pull back and then lift it up again and I couldn't so that, that was really frustrating And then I believe I get three here. I think I did like four sets of two and then one set of three. Again, the goal is uh, to get, so the rep range is three to five, but I just, I just write down five just because uh, I like to put that in my head, but you know. Nope. I was determined to get at least three on this one. So I failed once, failed twice. Read just my shit. This was the first time I've actually recorded a full workout, so it was kind of interesting um, to see everything. I recorded like single exercises, but not full workouts. So it was interesting to see what I'm doing right and see what I'm doing wrong and check out the gains. No, I'm just kidding. So I failed twice, readjusted. That first one was a struggle. Second one felt pretty good. And then you get one more here. Yep. So you got, yeah, three or four sets of two and then one set of three. Yeah, three sets of two, one set of three. Uh, so next 
exercise. Uh, try to do a weighted pull up, but the dip belts or the weight belts at the gym are screwed up or someone was using it. I can't remember. So I just decided I'll go a lot slower on my pull ups. Um, so it's, I go, I'm going for two sets of 10. And uh, I've been playing around with the width. Um, if I go too wide, my forearm starts hurting. I think I got tennis elbow. Um, I think that's something. Uh, my forearm is like messed up as well. If I go too wide, even on uh, rows, like barbell rows. So I just recorded one set just so you guys get the idea. Next, what I did is uh, isolation rows. And I got 135 on there on each side. So, um, yeah, looking at this video, I think I'm actually going to um, place my hands higher. Um, just to, I believe that's going to target my lower lat a little bit more if I place it higher because I'll be pulling down more. Using uh, Will's versus Thanks, Will. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was doing, I was pulling 160 right here, not 135. So 160 on each side for two sets of 10. Next is bench. Now, I just started benching um, for the first time in, geez, forever. Like, the only time I would bench is when I was working out with friends and they were, you know, persistent on benching and uh, benching with a barbell uh, I would usually use dumbbells so uh, and I, I was building up my strength really well on dumbbells I, I got to I was able to do 120s for reps that's as high as it goes at our gym um, but uh, yeah it's just it's just completely different so it's, it's kind of nice to get this change literally it was years um, where I just stopped benching. So here, um, I'm going for, uh, it's 255 for, uh, sets of, uh, up to five, three to five. So just going three and, uh, I'm sure I could do more. Um, I just kind of like mentally fucked myself a couple weeks ago, landed with 275. Pretty embarrassing. So... Now, um, just more, some more assistant exercises. So I'm doing uh, dips, some weighted dips. There's the belt. Um, so I, I only got 45 pounds on there. Uh, and I'll be moving up because this was really easy um, for me. Felt really easy. A lot easier than previous weeks. I've been really fluctuating with the when I do weighted dips. I've done like um three sometimes like three plates and for like five or six reps and then i've been at 60 pounds you know 45 and 25 been at 90 pounds so you know just like i said i just reset i just started doing weighted dips again so that was a set of 10 and i think i'm gonna get one more set of 10 So you can't really tell on here, but um, these bars, they they kind of go, uh, they angle out. So where I'm grabbing is the for the widest part out. Uh, I'm noticing more chest activation. Like I'm, I'm noticing my chest work better when I, uh, when I face that way and grab the, uh, the bars on the outermost part rather than on the innermost part. And I, I try to lean forward just a little bit, but not so much where I'm swinging. Uh, they look all right. I know you guys are admiring these transition effects. Pretty high tech. I think I got one coming up. 
Ooh, look at that. Hey man, that's, so I was doing a, I was doing overhead press, barbell overhead press. Um, at our gym we have one cage and one squat rack, and they're always taken by guys like that guy in the beanie. Nah, it's just uh, a lot of people are squatting and whatnot, which is good at our gym. A lot of people are squatting, deadlifting and whatnot, so it's just takes way too much time. I'm already in there for a long time as it is. It takes way too much time to just wait for a rat. So I switched to dumbbell presses. So I noticed here, uh, going back to like recording yourself or recording a full workout, I noticed here my left shoulder uh, is coming further down than my right shoulder, which is weird because, uh, well, I don't know, maybe it's not weird, but I've always felt like my left shoulder has some pain in it and uh, now got so I got will recording so that first one I got it was 75 pounds for nine so I'm going for three sets of ten and then I get ten here first one I got uh, yeah first one I got nine this one I got ten and the third one I got ten and it actually felt a lot easier than I thought it was gonna feel. I really thought I was gonna struggle here, but uh, if you keep watching, I think I only struggle on my last rep. So making progress while I'm cutting, but I don't wanna say that because last time I was making making some PRs while I was cutting or during this period, I freaking injured myself so. We'll just pretend like I never said that. So now we're going to P. Now we're going to preacher curls. If you saw that, I wrapped my thumb around that last one. Um, so three to ten, and then we're doing the stack for tricep press downs. Three sets of ten, and that's it. Um, comment on the video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and uh, just let me know what you guys think. If you guys want more of these, less. What you guys want to see. Thanks.